this is part two of the see-through car series in part one i left off with flipping the car down hitting some more potholes and finishing up on this street i'll just pick it up from there we're all done with this street because it's just way too dusty here our next stop is cabrini green oak street downtown chicago Before we get back to it, I just feel like this car isn't stripped down quite enough. So I'm gonna go with my gut, remove a few more items, and voila! Our E-Class is ready to hit the streets of Chicago again. So if you've ever wondered what happens to your car when you hit a huge pothole, you're about to find out. All right, so that last pothole, that was at about 15 miles per hour. I think it was kind of lame. So I'm gonna try it yet again, and I'm gonna do it at 30 to 35 miles an hour. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I possibly can to hit it and uh, see if we can get some serious suspension and travel. Let's see how that looks. Let's go. First thing that I realized from those last runs is that we need more high-speed cameras on this car and our friends at Vision Research they were kind enough to send us these cameras right here and they also sent us Ed. So what do you do at Vision Research? I'm the senior applications engineer uh, for the company. So he's gonna be here helping us come up with some ways to mount these high-speed cameras on this car right here and uh, what do you think about this project? This is interesting. It's very interesting. I've been working in high speed and the automotive field for over 20 years. We've done something similar, but nothing crazy as this. We're going to get this thing rigged up with some high speed cameras, try to hit these huge potholes right here, which apparently people drive through every day. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's do it. No, don't put water on the baby camera. Ed and I just finished mounting the additional high-speed cameras that Vision Research sent us. And this is gonna give us a closer, more in-depth look to how the suspension works and what the suspension is doing when you drive your car through a street like this. First run I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do like a straight run down this street and try to hit all these cracks, crevices, and a couple potholes, whatever potholes are in the way.
Well, that was a doozy. Very unexpectedly, I pop both tires. Believe it or not, this was something that I wasn't anticipating. I'm gonna give my friend Ernie a call at Ronda's Tires and Rims and see if we could get some tires on this thing, get this car back over here and get a few runs in before the sun goes down. All right, Ernie just texted me, he's got the tires. We're on our way to Aranda's. This thing's shaking around like crazy. I'm almost to Ernie's place. Hopefully he's gonna hook us up with some new rubber on this thing. These are the old tires here. Yeah, they definitely went through a beating. The car actually made it to Aranda's tires and rims. Ernie's gonna get some new rubber on there and it's gonna hit the streets again and see what else we can get out of it. But at this point, I'm exhausted. Over the last three or four days we've been shooting this car has beat me up and uh, we got a lot of good footage we showed you already. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop this episode right here and we're gonna continue it with a part two and a part three focusing on other things that you see on the street like speed bumps and uh, alleyways and other things in general. Tune in for the next episode. Check out our other videos, which are all kinds of different subjects. Also check us out on Discovery Channel. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Adios.